might do because it's Stay tuned for Air Gun Detectives. Welcome to another episode of Air Gun Detectives. I'm your host, JC, and today we're going to give you the first episode of our 1911 series. And the first 1911 we're going to feature is going to be the Barra. But before we get started on that, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button down in the corner. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free, but it really helps support the channel. In addition to that, check out my uh, website when you have a chance, www.airgundetectives.com. On that site, I have the t-shirts, I've got hats, got the Generation 2 bipods for those brake barrels and under levers. And occasionally, I also put some of my personal inventory on there. So there might be an air gun in there that interests you and you just can't live without. So check that out. All right, let's get back to the Barra. This is going to be the first gun in our 1911 series. And those of you who don't know, I'm going to feature a new 1911 every month in addition to uh, two regular reviews that I'll do. But in addition to that, I'm going to do a third review every month and it's going to be on a 1911. So this is our 1911 series. So the first one is our Barra 1911. Barra Air Guns puts this out. So let's show you what you get here in the box. All right. So what we have, let's get rid of the box. We've got your manual, basic manual. Gives you all the instructions, everything you got going in there. Okay. We also, one thing about the styrofoam box is it drops a little styrofoam, a little warning label. And the cool thing with this, it actually comes with some BBs. Check this out. So you get a little starter kit of BBs. 5.1 grain zinc BBs. I like the zinc BBs the best myself. And you get a Allen wrench, and that's going to be for your CO2. And then obviously, what you've been waiting for is we get, let's make sure this thing's clear, no CO2 in it magazine back in here. All right, let's decock it. There you go. There's the Barra 1911. I'm going to move this out of the way too. All right. So Barra 1911, what exactly is this? This is a CO2 powered. It's powered by 12 gram CO2. It's a 0.177 caliber steel BBs or 4.5 millimeter. And the beautiful thing about this, it's a full blowback. See how far back this goes? Full blowback. Very, very realistic. Now, this might look a little familiar to you. This is on the KWC Foundation. There's a few variations of the KWC. You'll see different slides. Um, this one actually features a nice Picatinny rail underneath it, which is really nice. So, as again, it's powered by one 12 gram CO2. This thing is all metal. This it's very, very solid. It's a it's a it's a heavy gun. Uh, and it's right around you know two pounds. It's got a full dropout magazine, and then the magazine takes your CO2. And then that little Allen wrench is used, obviously, to tighten up the CO2. So the CO2 actually goes in the magazine. I like these a lot because the valve is actually in there. So if you had issues with the valve, you just change the magazine out without actually having to replace the gun itself. So it's got a nice dropout magazine. And these um, KWCs, they work really well. They really actually do have... You've got your ambidextrous safety on here. You can see that on either side. But this gun also won't fire unless the grip safety is pushed. So that means you actually have to grip it. So you have two safeties on it, technically. You've got the, the ambidextrous one at the top, and then you have the grip safety, which is nice. As again, all metal. The gun is about eight and a half inches long, front to back, and it's got a four and a quarter inch barrel. But what I really like about it too, it's got these nice three dot sights on it. Let's see if I can show those to you on the camera. There you go. So you got the nice three dot sights. And again, the Picatinny rail. Uh, it shoots steel BBs. They're saying it'll shoot up to about 320 feet per second because these do have a nice heavy blowback. So it takes some CO2 to push that back. But very, very realistic. This is very solid. It feels just really good. You guys know the reason I'm doing this series is I just love the 1911 pistols. I really do. All right, let's go out and test this. We'll put it through our usual gamut, and then we'll come back and talk about it. So stay tuned for the next segment. Let's test our Barra 1911 over the chronograph. We'll do uh, five shots, average it out. I'm just going to shoot a 5.1 grain zinc BB. 
and we'll just see how well it does. It's not overly a warm day, it being winter time. So let's see how well we do. All right, shot number one, 317. Shot number two, 317 again. Shot number three, 313. Shot number four, 310, and one more shot. 305. Well, there you go. This thing has a heck of a blowback, as you can see that. So there's your average uh, feet per second. So let's uh, move on to the next segment. All right, we're going to test our Barra 1911 out for a little accuracy here. Um, we're going to go ahead and use our splatter burst targets once again, because they really do show a nice impact point. But we're going to just shoot five shots. We'll shoot the same uh, 5.1 zinc BBs, and uh, we'll just see how well they perform. We're our usual uh, 32 feet. Go ahead and take a look. All right, let's see how well we do. Five shots. Just going to aim dead center. We'll see how well it groups. Just does have some nice sights on it, though. But let's see. Wow, I'll tell you, except for that one, the other four grouped really, really nice. That's a heck of a group, I have to say, especially from 32 feet away with a blowback BB pistol. That's not too shabby. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's do a little trigger test on our Barra 1911. I can tell you right off, these have really nice triggers, but let's see how the pull weight is. We got a trusty Lyman trigger gauge here. Let's reset it. All right, let's see how well it does. All right, that was four pounds, 14 ounces. Four pounds, 14 ounces, you gotta love it. Under a five pound trigger, fantastic. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right guys, my favorite portion of every review video, as you know, is the plinking portion, because we're gonna knock things down. But I thought for fun today, um, since the 1911 here, the Abera has a front rail, I put a green laser on there. So I got the green laser set up on there. And uh, that one's just by Olight. Pretty cool, but uh, we'll try our luck with that because then we can get some more pinpoint accuracy. Anyway, so we'll just knock our targets down. Go ahead and take a quick look. We're at a usual distance, same distance we were shooting the targets at. Um, we got a little shotgun shell, a couple little cans, little bottles, what have you, uh, little plastic bottles that is. But let's just knock them down and uh, see how well we do. All right. So we'll turn our little laser on. You guys can see my little laser on there. Okay. Let's just see how well we do. Oh. Tough to miss with that laser on there, that's for sure. Anyway, that's a lot of fun. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up, move on to the next segment. All right, let's wrap this up with our conclusion. Wow, that was a lot of fun. I just love shooting these 1911s, I really do. They're so realistic, they really are. Like any of our conclusions, let's talk about the negatives. Let's talk about my negatives with this gun. What do you guys think my negatives are? My number one negative. Okay, it is this. This white, obnoxious writing on the side of the gun here. It's pretty bad if that's my only negative, isn't it? But anyway, I don't like this obnoxious writing. The good thing about these guns are they're completely filled strippable. And I'll show you some of the other ones. I mean, literally, I can take this thing every piece apart on this gun entirely. The great thing is you can pop that slide off. You can then mask this off right here and right here along the edge. You can sand that down. You spray it with a little flat black and guess what? The white writing is gone. It disappears. So that's another great thing about it. You can customize these so well. You really can. So let's, uh, let's talk about the positive. That was it. That's my negative on this. That's it right there. So the positives. This is the, guys, if you didn't know, this is the KWC platform. And 
what that means is that this company produces these 1911s and then the different manufacturers they might put a little different slide the look of the slide which might have a different sight picture on it or different sights um, some of them have a rail some of them don't the triggers are different on some of these and I mean you've seen them the Tang Folio that I reviewed the Colt Swiss Arms they're all basically the same foundation and all the magazines are interchangeable in all those models they really are but talking about this one, I really like the three dot sights it comes with. Again, it's a really good sight picture. And I really love the fact that it has the Picatinny rail under here. And you guys saw that. I put the, uh, the little O-light on here, which is great because this gives you that opportunity that you can put. And these O-lights are great because see, you can adjust. See that? You can adjust the distance wherever you want and you just lock it in. You're ready to go. But I like that. They're a lot of fun to shoot with. But this, this gun gives you that option that you can put that laser sight on the bottom there. And I'll leave a link for that um, down below for you if you guys are interested. But this worked really well, that green laser. It really does. So I love uh, the fact you can accessorize it that way. This has a good trigger. You saw what the trigger was. It's actually very, very smooth trigger. Very smooth. You gotta, you gotta like it. I, and I love the stealth look of this being all black. I think that's great. You can also get different magazines for it because it is that KEWC base. So this is an 18 round magazine. Well, guess what? You can get an extended magazine for this and those fit just perfect in there. So you got your extended magazines you can get as an accessory. So that's the great thing about that KWC um, foundation. Another thing, as I told you, that's filled strippable, so you can customize it if you want. You just take it apart, put it back together. Like I said, I've taken them all the way down and customized them. They're a lot of, it's a lot of fun. You can do that with this model. Um, what was really good, this thing had good accuracy. You saw the group that we got. I mean, it really did. We're talking about a smooth bore barrel with a very heavy blowback, heavy blowback, very realistic. And this is great to practice with. If you're like a 1911 guy and you carry a 1911 and you want to do some practice, this is great because you can shoot this in the backyard in your magazines. It's, it's a single stack type magazine and you can practice magazine changes and do all that. So it's great. So we had good accuracy. We also got about 70 shots per CO2 and, and that's going to vary a little bit depending on the weather. If it's a little warmer, probably get a little more. If it's a little colder, you're going to get a little less. So, but the velocity was right there, it was right where they advertised. So, it's, uh, like I said, it's uh, very realistic. It's probably one of the more realistic 1911s that you're gonna get, and I love the full blowback as far as that goes back. It really does. So how would I rate this gun? Come on guys, this is a five-star gun. This Case WC Foundation by far is a five-star gun. I just love it, it's so realistic. And uh, by the way, you can even, if you want to get wood grips for these, you could actually get wood, real 1911 wood grips for them. You just have to carve out the inside a little bit so it can uh, accommodate the CO2. But you could change those out. But actually, I just like the way this one comes. The only thing I can think that I'll do is I will mask that off, sand that down, and I'll spray that black just to get rid of the white warning. Other than that, it's just a good looking, good looking pistol. And it's well worth five stars. It definitely is. Okay, guys, so remember, every month, I'm going to feature another 1911, okay, every month. So that's going to be my 1911 series. So it's going to continue. So look for it every month. I'll feature a different one until I'm out of 1911s. And you guys saw in the preview video how many 1911s I have. So this is going to go on for a while. So anyway, with that, I appreciate you guys tuning in once again. Don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Until next time, take care and God bless.